news on the go. Well, the caseload in central New York continues to grow for COVID-19. Onondaga County now has 422 positive cases. Oneida County, 129. Tompkins, 105. Madison, 96. Shenango County reports 51 cases now. Oswego, 36. Wayne, 35. Cayuga County was 17. And Cayuga County yesterday announced its first death from the virus. And as for the recoveries, Onondaga County with 141, 73 in Tompkins, 66 in Madison County, and 23 in Oneida County. Well, if, uh, here's some sad news from two nights ago. The victim of a double hit and run on the city's south side in Syracuse has died, and here's who we lost. Elijah Harris Jr., a fixture around town, a familiar face, a familiar voice with his guitar outside the Dome, NBT Bank Stadium, the Landmark Theater, and anywhere else that Central New York gathered to play his music and sing his songs. Uh, police are continuing their investigation into his death. All right, new this morning, a barn fire in Oswego County killing between 50 and 60 cattle and possibly some more farm animals. Crews were called to Biddlecum Road off of Town Line Drive in Pennellville around 1130 last night. That barn was destroyed. Humans were injured as well. Responders say that they believe the fire started in the hayloft, but the exact cause is still being investigated. And the city of Syracuse is projecting more than an $11 million lost revenue hit from the coronavirus. The city now plans to use almost $14 million from its rainy day fund to balance the new budget. Mayor Ben Walsh outlined his budget proposal in this pandemic, saying the economic hardship uh, is tough, but he does not plan to raise property taxes. And back to the fire, no humans were injured in that fire. Well, today, 22 registered nurses who work at Upstate University Hospital will head to where COVID-19 has hit the, had the most impact in the state in the country, and that's downstate New York. Those volunteers will be headed to Stony Brook on Long Island, and Stony Brook University Hospital has requested experienced registered nurses to help fight this pandemic. Kate. All right, well, we are pretty cloudy. We're noticing some rain now showing up from our Skynet 9 camera over Oswego because we can't really make out the lake. Definitely rain moving in, becoming a little steady at times. That's going to be with us throughout the morning into the very early afternoon. The wind is starting to pick up, too. was very light, but now that's going to be an issue for us from this point forward. That rain is moving in. Some higher elevation snow showers will develop once the cold front gets through here around noontime. We end our day much drier, but it's also very very, very windy this afternoon. We are looking at gusts over 40, 50 miles per hour at times, and then we're dealing with some snow late tonight into early tomorrow morning. For higher elevations, that snow is going to stick around and, and stick too. Well, this weather will keep us socially distant, maybe inside the house a little more. That's what we need to do, right? Only every other day for those essential errands. If you're an essential employee, especially for health care, Godspeed today. Be patient with everybody and stay healthy.